thank America for the opportunity that he has given you and where you're heading to. So, Mr. DJ, all of you get on your feet. Respect the land that has provided this opportunity. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, maybe you'll get sick of being the monster out of my head, under my bed. Think you're something out of my nightmares, sitting right there. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, then will you get bored of killing me? Silhouettes of you are like a taunt. Never really know just what you want. With you, I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palms Play with me like cats and a string You don't understand the pain it brings You don't ever wanna give me wings You don't ever wanna set me free You know I'm addicted to you And it's twisted, you've been gifted with the evil voodoo Got me coming back for more, even when I've been screwed Dolls full of pins, pierce my heart straight through Got issues in my head I like you in my bed But you keep me on red Oh, everything is like a test I better not text or I'll come off desperate But if I lay down and I play dead And I stay dead Maybe you'll get sick of being the monster Out of my head, under my bed Think you're something out of my nightmares Right, of course many of you are wondering well, Where is the national anthem? I wanted to play the hymn I wanted to play the hymn, the land that has blessed us. All right? And since you're still standing, I would like to call upon Aunt Mildred. Come and say a prayer to this gathering, and then we shall continue on with our Thank you. Let's humble ourselves before our God Almighty. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless your holy name. We thank you for who you are. You've blessed us in this land of living. We thank you for every moment of our lives actually today we thank you for all these beautiful moments the great ones and everybody that has come in father as we're getting together give us the unity this evening and have us understand and enjoy the evening in Jesus' name we pray and everybody says amen thank you thank you that is uh, our pastor in making pastor mildred and of course, everyone looking so good. Thank you for blessing this moment. But above all, the people who have made it through the journey. The people we are seeing in front of us, it has not been easy. You have faced a lot of hurdles, which includes climate change, <laughs> which includes COVID, you are, you are a group of pandemic, but you have made it through, through all the hurdles. Many of you, of course, didn't like uh, Zoom or sitting on uh, virtual classes, but you've made it. Some of your friends have not made it. There are other things that have really been in your way. Facial acne. <laughs> you got, uh, you first, uh, other people like, uh, Many of you, as young people, you have faced a lot of hurdles, especially in school. Schools nowadays are not uh, safe at all, but at least you have managed to go through. We have overcome other political issues, but you have been very straightforward and being here. So, I would like all of you to really, as you're seated in front here, put all your worries, everything that has laid you back please this is a moment that we are celebrating you you have to celebrate yourself and above all i want you to leave this place with your cheeks aching because you're going to smile the entire moment if any of you takes a picture and one is not smiling delete that picture don't keep it so please you have who would like to celebrate you I would like to, of course, to take this moment to thank the organizers and one of my crews who have been in the background helping this thing go forward. So, 
As we start, I'd like also to give you some uh, housekeeping. Please stay off your phones. It is rude, unless you're taking pictures. I want us to, whoever is on the table, share the moment. So let's kick this moment. I would like to thank, first of all, the parents who have made it also. Thank you for graduating too. I would like to thank the, the various schools well, that you have attended. And I would like to thank First and for, uh, the biggest thank goes to, to the group in front of us. Thank you so much for not letting yourself down. Some of us have been there, we know the journey that you are in today. And uh, please, there's more to come. So please, uh, we're going to have something to eat. As we're having something to eat, of course, when uh, at the back, that is, uh, the other geography, in case you want to loosen yourself, your bladders and so on, it is at the back. But I want you to really celebrate these young people. Please celebrate these young people. And those in front here, I want you to inspire the young people in front, uh, in front of you. So, to kick it off, I would like to call upon um, someone to give us an opening remark. An opening speech, I will pick one person who has been within this group. Some of them are really avoiding me. Uh, I would like to call upon, uh, yes, Monica, you have been avoiding my, my eyes. Come and give an opening remark to, to your group, please. Just give something. Welcome the group. Come, 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 come. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi, everybody. No. Hi, everybody. Thank you. Uh, I want to congratulate you guys. You guys made it. It's the first, like Uncle Perry step. It's, uh, Uncle Perry said it's the first step out of many. Um, and I also want to thank everybody for coming. We really do appreciate it. Um, I don't really know what we're going to say, but, you know, I hope you, we enjoyed the day. And, yeah. Was it ready? Yeah. You weren't ready, yes. So, since uh, uh, I was testing you, and of course, as Monica has tested you, many of you are not uh, energetic. So, I want us to first have something to eat as I call, as I organize that someone else to come up. So, I would like starting with uh, Miss Catherine. I want you to lead the line, go get something to eat. After we eat, I want all of us to be energetic. All of us have to be energetic. They are drinks, they are eats. So, our graduates, Mr. DJ, play something for me, please. Take your plates, take your plates. The big one. No. Chicken, 
Jeep Kambuenu Tatia Yadda Mali Midwa Banji Yadda Banji Nyo Wetoni Mwabu Chiringa Bula Bakalulu Nikagwa Kukwe Sala bo kumpanguza, zikiri zanti abe 
mukama fina tetu genda kwejusa zikiri zanti mukama wali ningo luso zisayuni zikiri zanti bisibu ginsanga kwe musala bo kumpanguza zikiri zanti abesiga mukama fina tetu genda kwejusa zikiri zanti mukama wali Got real, got fight, got pride 
I got reason if they want to I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank when I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now wake up, it's time to look at the enemy Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me It's not working out, maybe it's the chemistry It's time to break up so I can make a better me Better believe in your mind cause it's everything you can mold, shape, find almost anything All it takes is some time and some clarity to find your identity It's mind over everything Got too much for change, I just love the feeling, no I ain't gonna give up Got too little time, I'ma live up Head down, push forward through the tough times And when I feel like this, I'm a mortal When I feel like this, I'm a mortal Mama, we have a gun, you say, Yamaranga, Mamani. 
ndi mukazi muna kundi masikini tambula mpita mizimu Teyalina yamba, teyalina suwi, teyalina future Senga naliku ze mwoba, naliku ze sente ni sanyu samama Na ye nalimu tabange, nga nenu suatano, sicha mcha zifuna Na ye mukamba, orina manyi, kwa chuso ulamu Wanera nisebi kadeze, nava wasangula masiga gamama Yegwe munange Yebwe munange Samu kama Wena kula kula muma mawake Ya nyumisa kubisira bientano Ebisele vyo vya libya na kwa balunja Batu genda kumfafa Ama mubia batu wa lila sete Kalama vya batu wa lila nganda Matunga batu wa mudu Ne mama hoyo ya nifudera Wanyo kusenga tatatari uo Na ye mukama ya yambo yo Hey, 
what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby I have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you Will choose to stay Through all the pain I know you told your friend You're not okay And tell me what's wrong And why you never said You felt that way Try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away so good if you have not gone for second rounds especially our graduates yeah. let him come in so uh, to our main group hopefully you enjoyed the meal i've told you enjoy that meal you can ask monica you can ask ryan paris that food and jovia that food you will miss it you will miss it when you head inside that dormitory you're gonna miss it so don't uh, remember these words so um since everyone uh, has had something to eat, everyone is uh, energetic right now, I suppose. Are you energetic? Yeah. No, only this table is making. No What's happening, Mr. Juba? Uh, you, how many people are on your table? I can't hear the other voices. Is everyone good? Woo! All right. So, where's uh, Bill Sewanyana? Since you're already starting, come here with me. 
Since you're already standing, I would like you to take this mic for me. Okay. Two minutes. I'm going to give everyone two minutes to say something for the journey that you have traveled. Hi. Explain from head to toe what this means to you. Yes, Bill. All right. The standing right beside me, that is Mr. Bill Sewanyana. A great member of the community. Mr. Bill, take it over. Ah, uh, thank you so much for the lovely welcome, and we do appreciate you guys being here, seriously, it means a lot to us, and obviously it has been a long, difficult journey, but we made it, and I'm happy. So, I'm going to divert a little bit. Okay, yeah, I have two minutes. I first of all want to thank my lovely mother who's here. Very, <laughs> uh, Africano staff, Uncle Perry, amazing. Aunt, Auntie Julie. Auntie Mildred and Auntie Dorothy. So, uh, two minutes are so short. I actually planned uh, to like a, a very, very long speech. I uh, written it down. I'm gonna I'm not gonna open it. I'm just going to speak out of my head. Oh, okay. So, this is Seal of Biliteracy, and I got one in Uganda. So this is Seal of Biliteracy in Uganda. And it was administered to me by the one and only, Auntie Julie, she gave me an exam, and I passed. Okay, so I'm gonna speak about myself, who I am, how I've gone here, and what I've accomplished so far. My name is Bela Sawanyana. I was originally born in Uganda, Mitiana District. Yes, and I came to the United States in 2020, November. Yeah. Went to Waltham High, did amazing. Yeah. Got into National Honor Society. Yeah. Everything went well. Yeah. And I'm now going to Duke University. Yeah. Yeah. So. To the young ones of Africano and everyone else, um, it wasn't easy for me. Obviously, I put myself in tough situations, things like waking up at 3 a.m. studying, in order to get all A pluses. I told myself I need to get A pluses in all my exams. The only one class that I failed to get an A plus in was AP Physics, of which I got 96.4%. And an A plus is 96.5. So, thinking about it at first, it looks very difficult. It looks very difficult. It looks like you cannot make it. But as soon as you put your mind and focus and tell yourself you can make it, you will find yourself making it. Now, besides that, one other thing that I really want to share with you all is a concept that I learned very recently. I may look like a success story, which I might be, but there were troubles that I passed through, there were trials that I experienced, and I conquered them. But what I have learned that is very important and can lead to failure within a second, despite the success that you have, is emotional integrity. And it looks like a very easy concept. What's emotional integrity? 
look back, the perfect example I can give will be Will Smith and his scenario. At first he felt very angry and he was just justified to do so because they abused his wife, whatever. He reacted out of emotions that were real to him at that point. And after committing the acts he had committed, he tried apologizing in the end, but he couldn't change what he had done. So the moments where we are either too happy, too excited, or very angry and so sad are our most vulnerable points. And we need to check our emotions and act accordingly, not in what we want to do, but what we should do. Yes. So please aim to have emotional integrity. That's what I call it. I'm still um, working hard towards achieving it because it is hard. You don't just speak of emotional integrity. When somebody's going to come run here and slap me across my face and I turn and I smile, tell them to slap me to the cheek. No. I just have to cool yourself down, take a step back, then react. Don't react instantly because of your emotions. Thank you so much. And I always love a good Okay, I am going to, before I do so, this is the last one. Thank you so much, Uncle Perry, for everything you've done for me, the advice. Incredible. Everyone utilize him. He is amazing. He will help you out. My lovely mother, too. Muchara Jen Namurulia. She's incredible. She has supported me, been there for me, doing the tough Hard times called me out, told me, I'm going to go to the like, it's, it's, it's amazing. Auntie Julie uh, has also been one of my great support systems. We're doing, we're doing a project right now that's gonna change the world. You guys will read about it in the news in 2030. And Africana is involved. So, thank you so much. I'm now gonna yield the mic to my handsome Nigerian friend, Stanley Ajero. <laughs> oh, can I speak from here? No? Oh, so I have to talk. It's lightweight. You'll be fine. Yeah. And although you did not bring this, tell them that you also got a silver by Rusa in Ibo. Yeah. <laughs> um, hello guys, my name is Stanley Ajero. Um, so I'm from Nigeria originally. I came here um, 2017. And um, yeah, it's been tough trying to, you know, learn English and try to follow up with the community I came into. Um, high school was fun, you know. All you just gotta be is just like be yourself and, you know, try to do what is right always and also try to do the things that um, people don't expect you to do much just as the thing that you like to do. It's just like the more you study, just have as much fun as much you study or much seriously you take education with. And also just try to join like some school activities like um, sports. Um, as for me, I did like two sports. Basically, I did soccer. I tried track and I also tried tennis at the end of my senior year. So. It was kind of fun and it would help you like make more friends in high school. And um, Africano, what a great like community this is. I, I never um, knew I would be here today without like meeting Auntie Jewelry like through my project. Um, my teacher connected me to Africano and then it was really great. I can testify that and also when I came here, it was welcoming and like it was a very good community that I never knew I was like lacking or I didn't even notice like earlier. So I was really welcome and I'm happy to be here today. So thank you guys.
Yeah, I'm sorry. Alright. Introduce me, brother. Uh, okay. So, sorry for the bad introduction. So, this is my good friend, Hamsun Shobando. Hello everyone, um, I'm excited to see everyone here today. Uh, this is a great opportunity for me to see everyone, you know. Um, I was originally born in Nigeria and raised in Nigeria. I moved here back in 2016. Uh, I went to Kennedy Middle School, some of you might know it. Yep. Uh, I just graduated from high school, which you guys know, and um, I'm going to Miles Bay Community College. And and I'm gonna major in nursing, and I'll let <laughs> yep, and I'll let it transfer to you, my Boston. Um, like you guys know, some of you guys here yeah, graduate. High school is hard. There were times where I felt like I should give up with like assignments, work, and everything. But you know, I knew that in order for me to be on top of the world, I had to keep going and persevere. Um, you know, I graduated with a GPA of 4.3, oh! <laughs> I said I graduated with a GPA of 4.3, 4.4. <laughs> Not to brag or anything. Throughout my high school career, I was in the um, I honors role, yes. and I was also part of the National Honor Society. Yes. yes. Just to add up to, I did some um, after school activities. I was part of a program called the Changemaker Academy. And the main goal of it was to change our community and do great stuff in our community. Uh, just to wrap it up, I'm proud of these guys right here. You know, I've been friends with them for quite some time now. I've known Aaron since day one of high school. I just recently met Bill now um, quite long ago, and he's been a great friend. I've known Stalin since middle school. Great guys. I'm pretty sure these wonderful guys here are also great people too. So I'm glad to be here today. I'm glad to have met Auntie Julie, like everyone says. Uh, you know, it's crazy because I met Auntie Julie this year. Bill introduced me to her, and uh, ever since it's been a great ride. Uh, I, I never regretted anything I've done so far, and they, thank you, and uh, the best is yet to come. Thank you. Yeah. Oh! Oh! <laughs> yes, true. Mm. Yes. So next up on the mic is my wonderful friend Aaron Kugili. Hello, everybody. Uh, my, uh, my name is Aaron Chiguli, and I'm from Naraganda. I was born and raised in Uganda, came here when I was um, 15 years old, started high school, you know, had nobody. I joined the Change Makers by then. Very good program. Met my friends Hamson, Stanley, and later on in the year I met JJ over there. <laughs> um, yeah, we had a wonderful high school. All those four years, we we were stayed in charge. We played games together. Yeah, <laughs> we never we never parted away from each other. So I like to see. Um, Graduating is a big step, so everybody who, who takes the motion to graduate has to take this seriously. Um, graduate, too many stuff to say, but <laughs> yeah, we made it. Yeah, we made it. 
Oh yeah. Recently, we I met Auntie Joy with Bill, and he introduced me and talked about the cell bioliteracy. I was I didn't know about the cell literacy, but we met Auntie Judy, and she made everything wonderful. She tested us properly. She gave us <laughs> she gave us the right tricks to pass the test, and yeah. I got the suit by literacy. Yeah. Um, one quote of advice um, is, if any of you don't feel right, just don't do it. Yeah, I will, so I would like to introduce the next person, <laughs> Joyce Navagese. <laughs> Navagese. Yeah. In the middle. But I want them to see. Um, okay. Um, hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Joyce Nawagereka. I'm a Muganda. Um, <laughs> um, well, I didn't really prepare for this. Um, I'm finally a graduate. I can say that. Um, this year was hard, guys. Senioritis is real, but I did it. <laughs> um, I graduated with honors. Um, I guess uh, I'm the state champion for shot put in track and field. Um, what else? Um, it was hard. I guess one example I should give, I took, for some reason this senior year, I took too many hard classes. I took like two college classes, for no reason. Um, <laughs> two history classes, it was, and with a job and sports, I really don't know how I did, I mean it was God, it was God. Uh, I don't know how I did it, it was, it was hell. I lost contact with a lot of people, but by the grace of God, his power and might and glory, I did it. Yes. Oh, and I want to say thank you to my elders. I feel like I should kneel as a Muganda. Thank you, everyone. Auntie Miss Biaga, Auntie Julie, Uncle Perry, my mother, Auntie Christine. Um, also, these people here. Everyone, thank you so much for everything. Um, I would like to introduce the one and only Miss Ma'am Ivy Bransko. Oh, wow. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> wow, it's been a while since I've seen so many of you guys, like almost a year. And I'm just so glad to be back. And thank you guys for welcoming me back and for everyone for setting up this whole thing. Everything looks beautiful. Africa kind of looks so different. It's green. It used to be purple. <laughs> <laughs> Um, when I first came to Africano, um, I was a very um, different person than who you see standing here. Um, <laughs> no confidence, very shy, no style, nothing, nothing. Um, but um, after coming here, um, especially Auntie Julie, you've really made me open up and if it wasn't for you, I really wouldn't be the person that I am right now. Um, I've been through a lot um, throughout of high school. Um, I've had a lot of good moments, like when I got accepted to the number one private school in America. <laughs> and I've also had a lot of lows, um, full transparency moment, like when I had to go to Uganda. And 
there were a lot of times where I didn't think I was going to make it, you know? Um, but really, it's only by the grace of God that I'm standing here. <laughs> And that I graduated with a 3.4 3.4 GPA, Yay! and I'll be attending Howard University in the fall. <laughs> so I'd like to thank you guys so much. All of you guys have had such a huge influence on the person I am right now. So thank you. And I'd like to introduce Miss Catherine Jumba. So, um, um, hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Um, I first want to say thank you for everybody who organized this event. I want to say thank you for everybody who helps keep Kafikano running. And thank you to all my friends and family. Um, they come, oh, they come. Okay. Um, I think it's all my friends and family. So high school has been um, a really interesting time for me because some parts of it, especially the last two years, were really hard for me. And I ended up not doing as good as I wanted to. And then I ended up getting rejected from most of the schools I applied to. <laughs> and the one that hurt the most is getting rejected from um, my dream school that I've wanted to go to since I was like 10 years old. But then I realized that the school that I go to for college does not determine who I am, and it doesn't determine yeah. how far. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it doesn't determine how far I'll go in life. And um, like college is not the end for me. Like I still have so much more that I want to do, whether it's become a bioengineer or go on and become a cardiothoracic surgeon. So. Um, so I was lucky enough to get into a school that has my major, so I will be going in to UMass Dartmouth with a major in, yeah, I'll go with a major in bioengineering, and I'm just really excited to see what the future has to hold. So for all the young people who haven't like reached high school yet, um, I'd say to like work really hard on your schoolwork and your grades, but sometimes you're going to struggle and it's okay to take it easier on yourself when you struggle. Like if you can't get the grade that you want to, even when you put in all the work, you shouldn't like feel bad for yourself or feel like you're worthless because there's some things that you're just gonna struggle in no matter what and you should always like push through and be kind to yourself. And, and um, up next, I'd like to introduce JJ. Um, the first thing is um, I want to apologize for coming late, but those, those who know me, these daily birds, but I don't do it intentionally, but I apologize. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> um, my name is um, Joshua James, but I go by JJ. Because he was in I say Kazi because no one knows I'm actually called Kazi. They found out on graduation. But um, high school has been good. And to the people who are still in high school, I would like to say Mimi, uh, Andrea. Where is Mika? Mika is in high school. No. Oh, elementary. But um, I would like to. Now, nah, advice I would uh, like to give is that uh, um, just enjoy high school. It passes by real fast. Um, 
take good, I mean, make good choices, you know, no skipping, you know, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm Bella too, I forgot you in high school, sorry, but, um, yes, and I also want to thank, um, Auntie Julie, um, we, Auntie Julie is like, um, a witness, like, to every single person, if you'd say who's Auntie Julie, it's always positive things about Auntie Julie, and I would really love to, that's a blessing for sure, and, yeah, thank you so much, our light, <laughs> the one and only the young girl, Jenna Sedgwick. Hello, hello everybody. How are we doing? Pretty nervous, but we'll be fine. Uh, first turn. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for coming in late, Auntie Julia. I promised I would be here, so at least I made it. <laughs> and thanks for everybody for coming. You guys. You're awesome, and you know, we love you, and we know you you love us too, that's why you showed up. Uh, for high school, high school was pretty hard for me. By the way, I was going to take summer school until... <laughs> until one thing I did during the last week of school, one thing I did was, you know, I had to go ask questions. Never fear to ask questions. I had 45 in physics. They needed a 65. So I had to go stay after school, ask my physics teacher, can you help me with this? I stayed for a good four extra days and I made up my grade and that's why I'm here. I'm a graduate of 2022. Thank God. And Thank you to all the African community. You guys are awesome. You, you're, incredible. you're incredible, you know. You do a good job. And whoever decorated, wow, it's amazing. I, wa I love the art, it's good. Uh, to the camera person, I salute you. To the DJ, to vibe after. And hi, Mimi, long time no see. I, I guess that's all I can say for now. Thank you, Uncle Pelly. Hi, everybody, once again. I hope you enjoy the event. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to our group. Another, please, I need you to be so loud. Be so loud and give a hand, a good hand clap to these people here. Thank you so much. And I hope the youngsters have also been encouraged. The road is not smooth, but the path is there. You get it? The path is there. Please, one of the things that I would like to, to tell you, many of you have been saying friends, 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 do not lose the friendship. It's one thing that many of us have lost through high school. Do not lose your high school friends. Those are the true friends. I'm telling you. So, since we may, we had a lot of good words from the young people, and again, thank you so much for the hard work that you have put in. Thank you so much. High school is not easy. Very, very, very complicated for so many people. But you made it. Thank you again. Each morning you wake up, tap yourself on the shoulder, please. Each morning you wake up. All right. So I want you to digest the words that have been said by the young people. As a DJ, play me one or two songs. Then I'll call upon the parents. I want to hear what, whether the parents can match up the youngsters. DJ, give me something.
Catherine, give him a hand. And a strong member of Africano, Mr. Jumba. Thank you so much, Uncle Perry. Thank you so much, every parent, every friend, every child that is here today. And thank you so much, the entire Africano team, right from Andy Julie, the staff around you, Sister Mildred, and everyone else the mothers and the judges that are doing incredible work in this place graduates thank you so much it's been it's, it's a milestone and i really believe that the best is yet to come and your future is it's going to be a good future i'm not going to preach to you i don't have any extra word of wisdom for you but i want to to acknowledge the difficulties you've been through these last two years where COVID pushed you to remote learning. There was no textbook for that. You guys had to do your classes at the kitchen table, sometimes in your bedroom. Some of you caught COVID, but you went through it and you've graduated finally. So we we really, really appreciate the strength that you have. The class of 2022 and 2021, because I had a daughter who graduated last year. You guys, you've gone through what no other year has ever gone through. But I, don't, I know one thing, that as you embark on this next chapter of your lives, the experiences you've, got, you've learned in the last two years, the innovation, the everything that you've managed to do is going to compel you even to do better as you start your new chapter in life. I won't go beyond that. I know if we still have so many people that are going to be talking. Thank you so much and I wish you the best in life. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Jumba. And I, uh, those are very kind words, very good words. In Africa we say, a word to a wise person is enough. A word to a wise person is enough. If you're not wise, then we don't have enough any more words with you. That's why you see an African parent who just either keep quiet or either, what is that thing they do? Mm. <laughs> they have said it all. So, I would like to call upon uh, Bill's mom to come and say something. Please give him a hand. happy to be here today but I'm not going to speak a lot of English 
because you can hear my embogo. So, I would like to thank these guys. Thank you so much. And I would like to tell you this, you have to focus all the time. Go forward, don't step behind. Move on. Pananga, our child, Nava, Minava, Wala, San Senyo Kubalava. Those who does not know English, Banangan Zeng, Kuben Bogo, I'm sorry for that. I have to tell you the truth. So I want to thank Auntie Jury. Auntie Madrid. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, everybody. Uncle Jumba. I would like to thank Uncle Uncle Perry. I don't know you. You don't know me. One day you came at home. I won't pray. Bill. I tell him the first thing what you have to do to introduce to me to Uncle Perry. Bill never do that. Even though they are grown up, I kill them all the time. And I tell them, come down, lay down. So, Uncle Perry, I'm very, very happy to see you. Thank you so much. And all Africanos, I hear about you. Um, I can't mention your names, but I know you by face. Banange, thank you. I'm um, Chara Jane Namulia and Chara Jane Wankarwo. My husband is not there at home. He lost a brother in California. So, when he comes back, he's going to go to Uganda. So I want to say thank you, everybody. And thank you, all of you, to be patient. It's not easy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mama Bill. That's what we call you. And of course, as we continue bring up our parents, young people, please be thankful to the parents for all they do, for all they have done, and for all that they hope to do for you. But the main thing you have to do as young people is to appreciate and be well behaved. That's all we ask for. We don't ask for much, but we want you to be well behaved as members and citizens of the community. So, to continue down with the parents list, I'd like to call upon Auntie Mildred. a day like this to dance, to smile, and I'm so happy, I'm thanking God non-stop in the midst of my heart. I was here last year celebrating Teresa's graduation, and today I have this beautiful, most beautiful girl, Joyce. My husband is not here, he would have been here, but uh, Mika has a meet, I think in Fishburg. Um, they will come after five, so please forgive me. And I'm going to call upon Teresa and Joyce for the beginning, because I want to appreciate Africano. Please come. Me as a parent, as they are coming down, me as a parent, well, it, it's always, it takes a village to raise a kid, but it has taken me the whole of Africano to raise my kids. Yes, I have four kids and more are coming in the making. Yes, 
<laughs> yes. She's my black diamond. I love her so much. She's the blood of my heart. I love her so much. I'm so proud of these girls, even though they are taller than me, they always remind me several times, mommy, you're too short, but I have the best answer. I tell them, but I don't feel short. Yeah. Mommy, you're too short, and someone behind me usually puts stuff high enough so I can jump and get it, and I'm like, but I don't feel it. You know why? Since I have you, that you're taller than me, that means the sky is your limit. So, in a sentence, why don't you appreciate Africano? Please. Hi, everybody, once again. I want to thank everybody for being, any, anyone who has helped me, talk to me, be on the phone for hours, I really do appreciate it. And to Julie, the dream of this building, the idea, we wanna thank you so, so much for taking the time, for doing things like this, we really do appreciate it. Uncle Perry, for me, I think he's the father of Africana with Uncle Jumba and Paris's dad. We really do appreciate it. We thank you so, so much for taking the time to, you know, um, you know, take you know be there for us you're being a great example for the boys in Africa now so we really do appreciate it um, my mom and where is auntie auntie Dorothy I don't think she's here oh auntie Dorothy ha, auntie Dorothy is always back and forth back and forth she you know she's always behind the scenes but we really do appreciate you guys for also taking the time to um, take care of us bring us here bring us there she's also giving birth to a boy back there so we really are proud of you my auntie or no cousin auntie she's my cousin um, Agnes and, and that's another cousin auntie Fien I call them auntie for respect and uncle I thank you so much for also being a part of our lives we really do appreciate it. And then my African members, I'm not naming all of you, it's too much, but I really do truly lovely, love you. You guys are really, you mean everything to me. Jovia, Paris, Patricia, Jid, Jid, Jordan, Ivy, Catherine, Joyce, Aaron, Bill, Hamson, and Stanley. Congratulations, you guys. You know, it's not, it's not easy. It's not easy, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was the one from Teresa. Thank you very much. Joyce, on behalf of just, I want you to appreciate Africano as a large. And please do. Um, hello again. Um, I want to say thank you to everyone. I know, I know, I know I'm bad with the phone and like I'm horrible with communication and I don't text back and I don't call back, but you guys got me through this. Auntie Dorothy, OG, um, yeah, anything I do, I always think of you, trying to be a good example, trying to be a good ambassador of Africano. Uh, yeah, so I wanna say thank you to everyone because you guys pushed me through everything I've done, but sports, whether it be sports, chores, uh, I don't know. I don't know, any, everything, and I thank you so, so much. Again. <laughs> yeah, that was Joyce. I welcome everybody. I have friends that have come all the way from Tingsboro, my friend Rosemary and her children. Thank you for coming. Yes, this is Africano, very welcome. Come anytime, and I promised, you know, if you needed a ride, I have a van that ha is missing some chairs, but, <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> it's enough for every, everyone to fit in. Yes. So I want to congratulate you, all of you. I love you so much. You look great, guys. Ivy, congratulations. Congratulations, my daughter. Catherine, yes, congratulations. I forgot your name, I'm sorry. Yes, congratulations, Bill. Congratulations, sir. Prince of Nigeria. Hamza, and congratulations. King of Nigeria too? Wow, we have two kings of Nigeria. That's very good. Thank you for coming, you know. Oh yeah, <laughs> behind my back. Congratulations, JJ. 
Congratulations to you, sir. Yes, thank you for working very, very hard. You know, I know how much you, you've said it all. It's been very hard for, um, for the four years, but look, you've done it. And the same way we came here as immigrants, I tell you, it wasn't. In the part of the community, I call myself a pioneer because that was 25 years ago. There were no so many Ugandans in the area. It wasn't easy, but one thing I knew, first to trust God and to believe in myself, okay? To believe in myself. I don't see myself as a failure. I don't see myself as a short person. I see myself as somebody who can achieve whatever I want. I own a business for 25 years, okay, and yes, through hardship of, of life, you know, down the road, my husband went to school for engineering, and that was a big, big step from nowhere to this accomplishment. Anybody can do it. Uh, you can do it. And if we stopped right there, and we gave birth to you from there, then you, you're standing right there even higher, all right? So thank you very much for working very hard and your respect, you've achieved what you wanted. And also, as a piece of advice, I know we have some graduates for last year. I, we have um, we have Paris, Paris, can you stand up, please, in one minute? Uh, uh, Jovia, can you stand up, please? We have Nsuruga, can you stand up, please? We have, uh, Trisa, you can stand up again, please, don't worry. Um, who else graduated last year? Jumba, yes, Jumba, can you stand up, please? Ryan, can you stand up? So, this, the reason why I'm telling them to stand up, because you get, they're just a step away from you, okay? So when you go out there in your college, take their numbers, call them, I don't know if every day, but don't keep quiet, all right? Text to them, and guys, promise to help these girls and boys. Help, help them, you know? If I gave you a microphone, I know you're gonna say how much, how much, how much better you've achieved. So help them. And that's how we manage the us immigrants. That's how we manage to, uh, to achieve what we are today by helping hold somebody's hand. Don't have something by yourself and keep quiet. Share it, all right? If I'm a parent, I manage to call my friend. She has two girls. I'm like, you know what? We have Africano, come over. All right, so we want to see a bigger Africano, a bigger Africano. And even if you go to wherever you're going, make Africano down there, make it even bigger, you know? Because I know, and I know, and I know, we are going to, um, we are going to achieve all our goals, and we are going to be very grateful that we came to such a, um, such a place under very good parents and leadership, and they helped us to move forward. Thank you very much. My last one, <clears throat> I'm so proud of Joycey. Like I told you, I have, I have three girls and one boy, but Joyce has shown me down the road. If I'm to, if I remember having Joyce, please can you keep quiet for those that are talking humbly. Thank you. <laughs> I see them talking. All right. The first years of school for others they were very good. The school I took Joycey, I live in Lowell. The school I took Joycey and Teresa, first grade and second grade, was a school that wasn't upgrade to the, to, the, to, the, to the state. So one day I received a letter that said that, well, the school is not of value enough to hold it, continue. If you, you know, if you are able to move your children to take them to another school, it was up to us. I was like, oh my goodness. Now we just moved to Lowell. We bought a house there. And I'm like, okay, what's gonna happen? Their grades were not good at all. 
you know, there's, it was the school of bowling and all that. I wasn't happy. They were not happy. But I trusted God. I'm like, you know what? I'm not a failure. I don't, I never see myself failing. No. So one day as I was driving, I found a friend who was coming from um, another school, a charter school. She applied there and they had their, um, they had about three days to close the applications. So she told me, why don't you go to that charter school and apply, but you have only two days of applying. So I went to the school, they gave me the forms, I applied so fast. Good enough, they were chosen to go to the school. I think she was in, um, what, second grade, Joycey, or third? Fourth grade, yes, and she was in the fifth grade. I think their highest mark was about, let me say, like 25 from the previous school. It was miserable. I, it was sad for me for, to see your young girls starting school and it's not giving them what you want them to receive. But I want to thank these girls, the way they jumped a very big step from 25% to owners in the new school. And since that day until today, these are very smart girls. Yes. Yes. I thank you very much. Yes. I thank you very much for working very hard, JC. I see all the trophies, how every day you go for sports, how, we, how you've helped Mika jump up her sister. She tells her, you know what? Go for it. You can do it. Don't sit back. And Mika right now, she's holding on to what she tells her, you know? She went to Oklahoma and she's doing very good. So please, anybody listening, the younger stars, don't let them fly away from your sight. Hold on to them, you know, and move together. And if something is holding you back, take their numbers, call them, don't be afraid of anything. You do the same, even better. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. How is everyone doing? Ah, no, 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 no. How is everyone doing? Please, this is a day of celebration. It is a day of celebration. If you have your issues, you see the exit signs? Just follow the exit signs. But us in here, we need to be happy. So, lastly, I would like to call uh, Ivy's dad. Come and say a few words to the young people. Thank you, thank you. And uh, then we shall move on to the next thing. Thank you, thank you. Another father in the house. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I'm very excited to be here today. Um, Ivy told me two weeks ago that uh, we come coming to Africano and said, well, I should go and meet uh, Ivy's uh, Africano family. So I'm very happy to meet you all, all. and um, it's good um, that uh, some of the people here I have seen before, but I didn't know their names, which is uh, which now I have come to know. And uh, to the graduates, thank you very much. You did great, and uh, the future is yours. So go out, have fun, knock yourself out. High uh, colleges for all the excitement. So if you if you don't have the excitement in college, then there's no other place. So go out, have fun, explore the world, and uh, make sure everything goes great. Thank you very much. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you to our dear parents. Thank you so much for supporting the young people. The thing, one, th uh, one of the things that Africano complains about, we hardly see parents in here. It's always me and Mr. Jumba, we complain, Mr. Jumba. Do, do you know people, the parents of these kids? Uh, yeah, they are around. But I really appreciate the parents that put in time who spare time to come and celebrate the young people. Please, the young people, clap for those parents that are in here. Obugalo. 
All right. To summarize it, Aunt Ellen, you're, uh, you're one of the parents who has raised Aunt Julie. Your Auntie, your, 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 okay. To many people, you say, na na, na na. So, okay, judge, yeah, yeah. because uh, so many words are coming around. So, come say a few words to what has gone on to raise the young people in your generation and this generation, because these are two generations happening right now. So, within two. Eh, te mungu mira kwa munga lo vajikuro. I don't have a good English to uh, anyway, but whatever I speak, you, I think you will take it. Hmm? I'm the big judge here. <laughs> I thank very much Juliet na Jumba. I'm um, the mother of Juliet Najumba, but I remember very well when she was still in school and she came late. I chased her out of the house, hmm? and she had she had to hide somewhere. So the sisters had to take her food. Then I found out they took food to her. <laughs> And I had to chase everybody out eh? because I was not serious with the, with, the, with the studies and with girls. Eh? Do you get my English? Is it good? <laughs> so I'm very happy with you girls and boys that you graduated because Juliet Najumba came from scratch. The father died, he was killed by Amini, and I had to grow, to, to make them all grow up. I had about so many children. <laughs> <laughs> but they are all well, and I, uh, I thank God for that. Okay? They are all doing well. <laughs> This is my mom. Yeah. <laughs> but she gave me me, me go. Oh, my <laughs> yeah, I used to. Why are you late? Then I chase her out of the house. You're gonna sleep on the door. Okay? So please, girls, take it serious. Eh? And the grandson, yeah, he wants to also to say something. Say hi. Hi. Uh. <laughs> Uh, nice talking to you guys, and I uh, good luck to graduates, and we hope for more graduates somewhere there. Eh? I think next year we're gonna make it. Thank you very much for the struggle. Thank you, thank you, thank you to our dear parents again, to the graduates who have uh, brought us here. Again, let us uh, continue to digest the words that have uh, been spoken. Very, very good. So, please get some refreshments. Uh, Africano is serving, Africano has served. So, drink, eat, make merry. All right, today is a day to celebrate. Again, I say it is a day to celebrate. So, DJ, if you have something to play, play something for me as I also. All right, come on. Yeah. 
Zabali ni tuwa banji Ya di banji nyo Wetoli mwabu Chiringa bula bakalulu Nikagwa kukwe Ya di banji nyo, wetoni mwabu 
Chiringa bula bakalulu Nikagwa kukwe Mr. Sewanya na Bill, bring your crew, Joyce Nawagereka, I want you to come, where all the ground were, Ivy, oh yeah, yes, I want you, you all going to stand here and cut this cake. Hello, I need order, hello, 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 hello. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Come over here, bro. Ladies and gentlemen, please. The voice should only be mine. Hello. I don't want to be uh, a dictator of the house, but I will be. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, please give me a few moments. Please control your voices. Take a seat. All right, uh, we're gathered here again. These are our members that have uh, really done a lot of accomplishments. And uh, we're going to, we made this cake in your honor. Please cut that cake. It's going to signify the many meals that Africano has served, that the community as a family has uh, given to you, and you continue to serve each other. Please, in Africa, as we say, no one can come to your home if you don't serve them something, either you don't like them, or you have a nugu, what, what do you call it? A nugu. <laughs> and my Nigerian friends ask something else. <laughs> all right, so, I want all of you to get the knife, get a position and slice that cake. With love, with unity. unity. Say all the words you want. <laughs> With power. In the middle. Yeah. Uh, with love. With passion. <laughs> with power. With grace. What do we Strength. <laughs> with perseverance. <laughs> Vibe. <laughs> All right. On one, two, three. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to our young people, please. You make us proud. You make the parents proud. Continue to make yourselves proud. We are very, very happy for you. And uh, right now, DJ, give me something as I'll call upon uh, someone to come and help uh, slice this cake. As we're slicing the cake, there are some members who made some charts for the group. So if you have a chart, approach me, please. If you have a chart for the graduates, I want you to... Chiringa bula bakalulu Nikagwa kukwe Congratulations You got a reason to celebrate Obu wangu so kutute Wapu machofu dofu mekera Congratulations You got a reason to celebrate Obu wangu so kutute Wapu machofu dofu mekera Kuli kanyu watu Obu wangu 
members around thank you so much for being present i'd like also to recognize madame rosette Sirwanga, a very big uh, member of the community she has a tenants of always just sneaking in quietly but she's present if she's here then she really likes you people that is what she's right there Thank you, Miss Serwanga. Thank you so much. And I stand here with my group of young people who said they want, they made something for the young crew, for the youngsters. Starting with uh, Andrea. Order in the house. Let's just give these people a few minutes. Andrea made something for. Andrea Mimi. Who did you make? Joyce. Joyce. Where's Joyce? Come for your poster, please. Yes, Joyce, come. Come. That is from uh, Mimi and Andrea, please. Give them a hand. Huh? Are we talking? Um, hello, Joycey. We made, no, you can't, wait. We made this poster for you because, hey, boo. Are you not gonna like hold it? Wow. <laughs> Joyce, you have to come and. She'll come, we'll bring it to Okay. Okay. Well, we made this poster for you. Me and Andrea have photos of you um, from like the past to the future. We have memories on this side and then your glow um, on the other side. And this is just to appreciate you as um, an individual and for graduating. Thank you so much for always making us smile and for being a real person. You know, you never lied to us, hopefully. And I thank you so much for all that you've done for us with braiding hair, you know, taking photos when we're off guard, and for the stories with your grandma, you know, very much appreciated, and disciplining your siblings, and, you know, making cool hairstyles. So thank you so much, and Andrew, if you have anything to say. Um, congratulations, Joyce, we love you.
Thank you, thank you, thank you, Andrea and Mimi for that poster to Miss Joyce. Next, I will have to bring Miss Bella and Miss Shamika come forward. The mic is yours. Is thank you, thank you. Um, okay. Okay, so the person I had was Jordan. So on the poster, it has some candies and it's just a little message. So it says, you have to show it to him. <laughs> okay. Okay. Jordan, you're such a star, but sometimes you can be an airhead. As you make your way into the world, never lose sight of the things that matter most. Life will be sour at times, but remember that everything will work out as long as you believe in yourself. Thank you for being a lifesaver and a genuine friend. And then I have another letter. So we met Jordan last year in the summer of 2021, but he's nothing but a great ball of energy. He came into Africa now ready to do anything for Auntie Julie that has thrown him. I remember one of the Saturdays where Ziad told us to freestyle, but he was one of the few boys I was willing to dance. Even if it was his first time, he still gave his best moves. Jordan is a hardworking guy and he is very determined. Once planned to do something, he does it no matter what. He still tries and he's a best example for Africano. He started a hobby and started being a DJ. If you want to support him, check out DJ underscore Jordan. <laughs> Jordan, we are so proud of you and we are so glad Monica brought you to Africano. You are such a jolly to be around. Continue pushing and being the loud, funny human you are. We love you so much and appreciate this poster. First, those cameras. <laughs> All right, thank you, Miss Bill and Sh Miss Shamaker. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, uh, our table kind of uh, reduced all of a sudden. I di they didn't tell me. But since everyone is here, whoever is here, I'm tired of seeing you seated down. Who? Two actually. Who? Has Where are they? Who was? Where's Ivy? Okay. One more. Hi guys, How, how's everyone doing tonight? I mean, this afternoon. Um, I'm Paris Kirinda, for all of you who don't know me. Um, this is Ryan T. Bagua, and the senior that um, Ryan and I had that we wanted to represent was Ivy. Um, Ivy and I have been friends for such a long time. She's like a sister to me, and I love her so, 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 so much. And I'm really, really proud of you. And she's going to Howard, by the way, so. Um, so, Ivy, I'm really proud of you. You know how much I love you and how much I care about you, and we just had to appreciate you tonight and congratulate you on how good you did. Regardless of all the um, hardships that you went through, you, you did an amazing job, and we're so proud of you. Hey, Ivy. Um, now that you've graduated, you're at the beginning of a brand new chapter of your life. You've worked real hard, and me and Paris couldn't be more proud of you. Continue to climb and strive for excellence every day you get out of the everyday strive for excellence. Keep chasing those moments where you discover something new about yourself, and don't ever let that in. Keep your mind and heart open to life's endless and foreseeable possibilities. So once again, we're proud of you, and congrats.
Camaraga. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to the young people, thank you to the crew, and all those that put in uh, enough thought in uh, creating those posters. So I hope all the posters are done. Others have slideshows which uh, will never come. So to cut. So to continue, those are delaying me. Uh, to continue, I would like uh, to take this moment to open up uh, the floor. But one of the things that I would like to warn you about is uh, Shamika and Bella, because I see them in the house. So Bridget, please take control of your girls. So Shamika and Bella, please don't burn up our carpet with your dance moves. So please, DJ, give us something. Please shake, celebrate, celebrate. I keep saying celebrate. This moment does not come easy. So, what I'm saying right now, DJ, give me something. All of you, you can push these tables. We're going to push these tables aside and we start shaking. I still know how to shake. So, DJ, give me something. And of course. <laughs>
nga binchi kambwe no tatia ya dabali ni dwa banji ya dibanji nyo wetoni mwabu chiringa bula ba kalulu nikagwa ku How's everyone doing? And hope everyone has uh, danced a little bit, shook your toes. So, I've been waiting for some of the crew. I don't know where they disappeared to, but uh, as we wait for them, as we wait for them, I would like uh, to take this moment to once again thank our guests who have made it and managed to save that time. All of you, all of you please uh, take a seat, take a seat, take a seat, take a seat, take a seat please, take a seat and let's summarize this. Take a seat. Let's summarize this. All right. So, my graduates, they kind of disappeared. I don't know where they disappeared to. I've been looking for the reds. I've not been seeing the reds. 
But thank goodness that you're back safely. The Reds. So, to our guests, again, I would like again to take this moment to thank you so much for sparing your time. Many people. Hello, give me, give me order. Just try to spare me some time. You will talk again. You will talk again. I think I will raise my voice. Maybe that's when you hear. Let's just take control of the room. We can always talk. So, I would like to take this moment to call upon Aunt Julie. She had something made for the young people as a as Africano to thank each and every one of the youngsters for the journey they have traveled. One of the things I have to tell you as young people that uh, as Aunt Julie is coming up, I want you to behave like Many of you, the good thing you have studied in, Af in Uganda, in Africa, in Nigeria. One of the things that we talk about is the gazelle. The gazelle, any moment that it sees the sun up, it has to start running. If it doesn't run, it will be eaten. And the lion is also saying, I have to wake up early and start chasing the gazelle because I will go hungry. So to the young people, if you have a dream, continue chasing that dream. If you give up, someone else is going to take your dream. Like it or not. You give up, someone else is coming in. So, it's only the person who chases that dream, that go that catches it so do not give up since aunt julie is here uh, she has come with a lot of stuff a lot of stuff so i'll give this mic to her <laughs> hi guys how are you i'm looking at especially those by the door because they're the loudest and you're the shortest. Unbelievable. So guys, how are you? My great grandma. I'm just so proud of you. When you do great, you make me the happiest. When you do great, you make me the happiest. Because I was raised by a village. So as you heard from my mom, I was raised by a big village. And when I would go to school, I sometimes would leave the, our house was at the end of the village. There was no car that could go beyond that house because it was the end. And we would go to school up, up, up the hill. And when you're coming back from school, you would eat food from each house somehow until you reach home. You reach home, you're hungry and you will eat food. You know what I'm trying to say? I'm trying to say all those people raised me. And also, guys, I would not leave the house like dressed like this and then reach by on the way and put on my short minis because they will report me or they will also beat me up. They are allowed to beat me up. Do you get the point? They all raised me. And the idea of Africano was to have a village in America because it's great to have many people who support you. For example, some of you come to Auntie Julie for some different things. You go to Aunt Mildred for other things. You go to Aunt Dorothy for some other things. You go to Uncle Perry for some other things. Do you see that village? The one we had in my village? It, it doesn't have to be a house, but it can be a person. So Africano has the idea of creating tools for you as you grow, so that whenever you're stuck somewhere, don't say, I don't know what to do. Let me do the worst thing in the world. No, go to somebody. Always think about that word, the village. 
the village doesn't have to be in Africa, the village can be even here, everywhere. Even like we said, when you go to college, don't forget your friends. Do you know Aunt Julie's best jobs that she gives people? She even gives people jobs to call the others. And I said, if you call everybody and prove to me you called them, Aunt Julie pays you for that. Do you know why I'm doing that? Do you know why Aunt Julie's jobs don't exist in the normal job society? Because no one understands the village. No one understands the village. Yeah? Even today, I will not be able to tell you all the things about you because I, I don't think... I'm just too... Bill, don't look at me. I'm just too feeling so happy and I might get too emotional, but I'm gonna send each one of you a letter to your home and tell you special things about you. And let me tell you something. I'll tell you things about you from me, but also from all of you to you. Because I gave assignments to almost all of you to write about each of you. Do you get the idea? Village, village, yeah? You was, I'm like that, am I nice? Ooh, I can't believe it. How will you know whether you're nice or not nice when you don't know people to tell you? Because America is different. You don't, you don't like meet your neighbors right there. You can't play from right there. You can't climb that tree. You can't, you can't talk to that person, you know? So for me, I'm trying to create a village of people. So guys, don't forget each other. Don't say, this is the last day I'm gonna talk to this person, so I don't even care. No, no, no. Aunt Julie is gonna look for funding to make you work for Aunt Julie, because Aunt Julie's jobs are so cool. They make you talk to each other. They make you find out about each other because you have to create your village. Okay, so today I wanna say special, special. Oh, where are my special bags? Okay, right here. So I wanna say congratulations to all my grads and they all get a special bag. And uh, if I forgot something, don't you worry. Each of you gets a small check from Africano. Don't worry about the amount. <laughs> Remember, did I do that last year? You're like, really, how much? Oh, yes, you did. You bought your outfits, I remember. I, um, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so every year I try to make sure that I find funding so that each of my graduates gets a little small check. It's not everything, but it might buy for them a pencil or a pen, who knows what? Yeah, because I'm just so proud of you. And of course, you're also getting that magazine where all of you are inside that magazine. So this is Aaron, there you go. And don't, don't look so much and you don't find your check. Don't worry, before you leave, you all have a check. Don't you worry. Stanley. <laughs> Hanson. <laughs> so, two of my graduates are not here, but that's okay. Catherine. <laughs> Jordan. <laughs> Where's <is> Joyce? <laughs> Okay, so Joyce, your bag. I, I did not finish all that I was doing. And you, JJ, don't worry the name, but. Yeah, so I'm, I'm just so proud of you. And remember, when you're stuck at school somewhere, all of you college students especially, call Aunt Julie. And you know what else I make people do? You write about your situation. You see the way I've made these magazines. What is the title of the magazine? Who knows the title of this magazine, actually? Who knows it? Take your time. Do you know the name of it? Yes. Did you hear? The title is Your Story Matters. 
The reason why this magazine has that name is because don't ever feel like my story doesn't matter. It's nothing. It's a shaming. No. You are helping somebody else. There are people who have situations that they can't talk about. There are people who express themselves better when they talk. There are people, like there are many kinds of us. And the, the idea of this magazine, Anjuli never writes much here. She only puts her little small photo at the second page. Always, only that. Apart from that, all the stories are written by you. I encourage all of you, whenever you have something to write, write because I pay for your writing. The reason I'm doing this is I'm creating your village. I'm creating your village. One day in the future, you'll be like, I want to know about this thing. But the, the white people don't have it exactly the way we have it because they don't know about our situation. Go to your village. Your story does what? Your story matters. Always write to me, call me, say, I'm just I'm broke. Can I write five stories? I'm like, right, that is $100. Go to college. You write me five stories, good ones. Don't, don't, don't think you're going to give me a quarter page and a pen now. I'm very strict. Not so, Catherine, Ivy. And I watch and I see whether, hmm? Monica. <laughs> I know. And they're always like, actually gives us so many assignments. I'm like, mm hmm I know why. So today I took the time to explain to you, you're creating your village. I don't need to be here tomorrow. When you have your village, you guys are the boss. You lead. Okay? So now before I, I don't want to waste too much of your time before you go to your party. Not everybody's going to get one of these bags, but don't worry, if you don't get, come sign up with me so that I get you what they're going to get. And if your size is too big, don't worry, we'll fix that. But if you get one which fits you, enjoy or put it on or something. Elizabeth, here you go. And of course, everybody's getting gummy bears, like usual. I forgot to put them in. <laughs> Uncle Douglas, is Uncle Douglas still here? Yeah. So it's my way of saying, guys, we love you. I can't say express enough that we love all of you. We are proud of all of you. We appreciate all of you. I am what I am because you are. Do you know the saying? Keep it, write it somewhere. I am because we are. Without you guys, I don't know. You get the point? Okay, so this is for Uncle Douglas. Paris, maybe you'll take it for Daddy. Uh, this is Auntie Mildred. Yeah, so for those who want gummy bears, they will take some gummy bears. Uh, Joyce. <laughs> Monica. <laughs> Vicky is not here. Ani, Auntie, okay, Auntie Nisha, right there. There you go. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Jaja Joyce, Auntie Mildred. Yeah. Mika. Uh, not, not Joyce, but Jaja Joyce. This is for Aunt Grace. Uh, Catherine. <laughs> Auntie Margaret, Jovia, <laughs> Teresa. I saw Teresa today somewhere. Where did Teresa go? Teresa Jumba. Okay, Catherine, you take for her. She's here. Where did Teresa go? Okay. So, Bella. <laughs> Auntie Dorothy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and guys, when, when all of you have gotten your bags, you can show everyone what you have. Uh, Bridget. I saw Bridget today somewhere. So guys, I, I appreciate all of you. So I want to make a speech as such. Tendo, 
I'll just give you some stuff. Jaja Betty. Kwali Jaja Betty. Kwa ogena ko ogena. Ogena ko. You're gonna do after. Uh, uh, is Paris still here? Uh, pa this is for Dylan. <laughs> Zane, is Zane here? Uh, no, Nisha Kwako. In your Zane. In your Ivy. Ivy. Bill. Oh, no. Oh, no, this is Paul. Mirembe. Elijah. <laughs> Isla. Size. Hillary. Yes, that's yours. Don't worry, it's yours. Look at it, and if you don't like it, you give me more. Uncle Jumba. Wanji, also you want? I'm going to give you. Ziana. There you go. Yeah, you can take some fruit snacks. So those who didn't get fruit snacks, you'll get after. You can take some fruit snacks. Humphrey is not here. Andrea. Lisa. And you can get uh, gummy bears for them if they want. Zyvon. <laughs> yeah, you can get gummy bears. Emmanuel, I saw Emmanuel somewhere. Liora, yeah, I will give Liora later. Bill, I've given it there. What you want for Emmanuel? Yeah, you you hold it for him. Oh, Liora, are you here? Fred. Nyabon sabon pere koma mami dread. In the sati of Fred. Wait a little bit. Liora, you want to have some gummy bears? There you go. Ryan. Ziad. <laughs> Ziad, you have no way out. You have to come now. Uh, guys, before I give Ziad his shot, I want him to say one, two, three words. Thank you so much. I want to appreciate everyone who is here. Thank you so much for coming. We are very proud of you. Thank you for loving Africano. Um, I want to appreciate Aunt Julie, Uncle Perry, and so many other people, Aunt Mildred, Aunt Dorothy, there are many, Bridget. Um, and I want to, uh, to appreciate our kids, our youth. Thank you so much. I'm very proud of you. Very happy. I like you guys. Um, I don't have too much to say, but all I can tell you is that I know you're going to college, but when you go there, don't think that you're someone different. Don't think that you're someone so special. Keep, keep, keep respecting your parents. Keep low profile, stay humble, however much you're very wise. There are so many people in the grave who are very wise, who thought they are indispensable on this earth, but at the end of, the, at the end of it, you have to stay humble. Please, please, please stay humble, keep focusing, keep being strong. Um, I think that's it. If you have a talent, keep pushing. Ryan, if you have a talent, keep pushing. Bill, keep pushing, my brother. 
Thank you so much. Thank you so much, big brothers and sisters. I appreciate you so much, and I'm proud of being an African. Oh, um, let me talk about a little bit of this. Um, I think you, 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 like you people, you don't know the, the worth of Africano, but when you leave this place or when you grow up, you get to know what you had. Never forget the roots you came from. I'm telling you, never forget Africano. I've met so many places, I've been in so many organizations, but I'm proud to be Africano. Um, never forget Africano. Keep on checking on Auntie Judy. Keep on checking on Bridget, we are here. Girls, this is for the girls. This is for the girls. Um, please, 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 girls, respect yourself if you want someone else to respect you. Respect yourself. Keep being humble. Keep being focused. You'll meet so many friends, so many friends who want to divert you from what you're doing, but keep focusing. Never forget that you are the woman for the future. Keep being respectable, and when you're in the society, remember that you're representing all African girls. I want to thank Bridget. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. These kids, they are watching you. You're outside there. And for the boys, keep focusing like I've said. When you go to college, don't think that you're, <laughs> you're the best. Keep being humble. Never forget Africano. It's where you came from. And you never knew. For example, me, in Uganda, I was in the, be I was in the best drama group in East Africa. It's called The Ebony's. But even right now, you never knew what will Africano be tomorrow. You never know. Me right now in my resume, when I'm applying for the jobs, I still put in that I'm from the Ebony's, the best group in Africano. They go on Google, they search on it. They give me jobs because of the Ebony's. So you never know. Africano can become something much bigger in the future. So don't lose Africano. Be proud of it. Thank you so much, Auntie Julie, once again. And thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. Okay, so a few more shots, Paris, and uh, let me see. I'm, I'm almost done, so no worries, you're going to dance now. Douglas, Uncle Douglas, Paris, and Uncle Perry. I know. <laughs> JJ, I know you like huh? Okay, I want to tell you how everybody managed to get a shot because almost all these people signed up, so they were able to get a shot. They signed up on time and they got a shot. But I, I want to just teach you that when you sign up, don't sign up for only when we are going to New York. Guys, are you listening? Especially this table. When we are going to New York, you guys sign up in two minutes when I send a message. Well, eh, 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 you're not going. But I'm saying, when I call these people and I'm saying, we're going, they will sign up immediately. When I say, who's coming today? They're like, okay, uh, what is it about? Like, they make you wonder whether they will even appear. And then on the day, they all appear. And you're like, for how many people am I cooking? And I don't even know. So guys, try to sign up for other things too, not for only movie time, New York, and that stuff. Okay? So anyway, I love you. I want to tell you that each and every one of you matters. And I'm super grateful to each and every one. Auntie Midred, Dor Auntie Dorothy, Auntie Nisha, Uncle Perry, Uncle Jumba, Uncle Douglas. Everyone that makes this work. It doesn't work only by me only. There is a, a big team behind that makes us manage what we do. So I appreciate each and every one of you, and I wish you a great party. And if you did not get your check, look for me. Ah, I like that piece. Love you guys, take good care. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Auntie Julie.
Thank you so much. And I think everyone has a check, or oh, the check is coming. Especially we know the colleges know the use of that check. So to summarize this and uh, open up the floor entirely, I'd like to call upon Paris. Paris is one of the people that has been behind uh, this thing, putting it together, organizing, making sure everything is running. So please, everyone put a big hand clap to Paris. She has, uh... So she's a manager in training, and of course, uh, some of us have been in the background trying to help her out. But thank you so much. Please, I'd like you to give a closing remark to the group and of course send them off and hope to, hope to see you again. But before we, I give you the mic to, to Paris, I'd like to, to thank my assistant Ryan. He has been in the background helping me out. <laughs> to our TV crew, always supporting the Africano. Don't always, uh, as you're going out, say thanks to them. They have always been here, always supporting the Africano, and especially those who have put in their time. So, Paris, the mic is yours. Thank you again for putting the thing together, for coordinating. Thank you. Hi guys, how's everyone doing again? Okay, I'm sorry, I'm, I, I need to hear a little bit louder. How is everyone doing again? Um, first and foremost, thank you so much everyone for being here. I really, 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 really appreciate all of you coming out. Um, this process has been, I've been planning this since I believe January. I talked to Auntie Julie and I was like, Auntie Julie, um, I want to do what you did for, well, I kind of planned last year's graduation, but it's okay. But this year I really wanted to um, celebrate the grads of this year um, because I know how hard high school is. Uh, for myself, high school was not easy at all, um, but I was able to graduate um, at the top of my class, and um, I'm now in college at a good school, UMass Dartmouth. Go Corsiers! But um, it's been a really hard experience. It's been a challenging one, and I really wanted you guys to enjoy your final moment as teens before you go out into adulthood, because let me tell you one thing. Once adulthood hits you, it's gonna hit you, and you're gonna really look back on the moments, and you're gonna be like, man, I really wish I, I appreciated those little moments that I had. So what I want you guys to do um, is I really want you guys to appreciate the moments that you have with each other because you're never gonna have this again, ever. You're never gonna sit here again and be able to enjoy each other's presence because you're always gonna be back and forth. You go, this person has work, this person moved to another state, this and this happened. I really just want you guys to bask in each other's um, presence. And um, one thing that my dad's always said and he's always taught me and I want you guys to use it in your life um, you're, no matter if you finish college, if you go on to become a graduate student, if you go to school forever, one thing that my dad has instilled in me is to be a student of life. Always be a student of life. Never stop learning. Never stop growing, no matter the lessons, how hard the lessons are in your life. No matter how things seem or how difficult it may be, every single lesson that you're going through is making you a better person. Every single little thing, every single big thing, every single um, success, every single downfall that you have is making you into the person that you need to be. Um, and another thing, yesterday me and Patricia went to a youth conference and one of the preachers said, was telling us the story of Nehemiah and um, the whole um, context of the um, conference was, don't come down. 
because no matter how high you are, and I remember this happened to Will Smith, he was at the top. The enemy's gonna try to get you when you're at the top, literally. So you really have to keep, as Bill said, like having that emotional intelligence, having that not reacting so quickly to what people say to you, always being mindful of how you're gonna react to things. I understand sometimes you wanna hit back and you and sometimes you wanna turn the other cheek, but sometimes every single moment in your life has prepared you for what you're going to go through. Every single thing, so don't doubt yourself. Literally, don't doubt yourself. You guys know what you're doing. College is hard. I'm not gonna lie to you. College is really, really hard. You guys could be here, you know what? I'm the smartest. I'm, there's valedictorians that have dropped out of college. Just letting you know that. So when you go into college, give it your all. But at the end of the day, once you know you've given it your best, then take a step back and let everything play out. That's all I could give you. So, um, so um, I hope, I really hope that you guys enjoyed your time here. I really hope all the guests, you guys had fun, and all the parents that are here, you guys are really proud of the graduates because school is not easy, it really isn't. But um, yeah, and then finally, I would like to thank Auntie Julie and Uncle Perry because I really would not have been able to plan this whole entire thing if it wasn't for them. And lastly, I'd like to thank my dad. He's right there, Douglas Karenda. Um, and my mom, Sylvia I'm, I'm I am the person that I am because of my parents. I've taken all the good that they've given me and um, I've grown with that and I'm continuing to grow with that. And um, I just hope that whenever you guys see me, you also see my parents as well because, and my aunt as well, and Auntie Mildred because you know, that's my aunt. But um, I really hope that when you guys do see who the young woman that I am, take the good parts of your parents. Take everything that they give you and even the bad parts. And at the end of the day, guys, they're human, so they're gonna make mistakes and they're not perfect. So yeah, but I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, have fun in college, don't party too hard, but you know, have fun. So yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And that is uh, Paris Chirunda a product of Africano and a good person from uh, Mr. Douglas, one of the, the fathers in the house. So once again, thank you so much for having attended this. Thank you to our graduates. Please, 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 do not let yourself down. Don't think about your parents, but it's about you. We as parents who have already moved decades ahead. Yours are just studying. I know you are a generation of hashtags, hashtag this, hashtag that. So the hashtag I want you to make from here today, I think uh, uh, Jovia can start it for me. Hashtag we did it. All right, so start that hashtag. And of course, one of the things I want to close it out with, again, I am very, very strict about friendship. High school friendships are the best, are the long lasting. You will never find them anywhere. Because you're not about uh, your cars, you're not about your shoes, you're not, it is genuine, genuine friendship. So go out there, each person that comes in front of you, make sure you make the best out of them. Live their lives in a happy moment. Everyone is talking about humble, 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 but sometimes humble has lost meaning nowadays. For me, I want you to remain who you are. Concentrate on who you are. Be the better you, nobody else. But again, thank this moment. Let's celebrate and close it out. Thank you, everyone. Thank you to our guests, dear friends, dear parents especially. You have also done it. Thank you so much. To those coming up, thank you.
to our TV crew again, thank you so much. To D DJ Ryan, thank you. And the rest, let the conversation start, continue. Thank you. Oh. Uh, hi graduates, guys, oh my God, congratulations. Hey, we are so happy, this is class, I saw more than, more, oh, there are more. Is this the whole class? Oh, there you go. All right, class 2022, congratulations, well done, we are so proud of you. I wish growing up I had something like this. I, I don't remember what my parents told me. It's, it was all congratulations. You did it? Okay, you're not the first, you know? So, and we moved on. But uh, we are celebrating you guys here tonight and uh, you've had so many messages. And I'm just gonna say only a few things. Uh, number one, when you're going to college, please do something, study something after your three years, four years, and I insist on this. Come out of college with nothing less than 150 grand in pay. That's the America of tomorrow. Come out of college with nothing less. Why am I saying that? The three, four years you have in college, you can do it. You can set the foundation. You get what I'm saying? It depends on what you're going to study. You go to all these career, uh, career, how they called, um, career houses, uh, Uncle Perry? Career fairs. Career fairs and they are starting kids off just like you at 120. Yes, go to Harvard, Auntie Julie, right? Harvard University, MIT, not just for Harvard, and, but they do it there, okay? And they start them off at, at such, and I spoke to a kid and he's like, in my first two years, I'm gonna pay off all of my student debt with the money, so it can be done. That's what I'm trying to say to him. But it comes down to you guys. It comes down to you guys. So pick courses. Pick courses, go for courses that put you in position. When you come out of college, you are coming out with such a paycheck. If others can do it, you can do it too. That's what we are all about now. Okay? If others can do it, you can do it too. Then it's going to set you off from there on. And then secondly, be observant. The world is changing again and again and again. So many things are happening at such a fast pace. What you know now, trust me, when you go to college, is not going to be the same. Trust me, in year number three of your college, you'll be taught by robots. Year number three, when you get into college, that's just how fast we're moving. Professor will set up his work, tell the robot what to do, and um, set up the time. The robot will show up. I don't know if he'll sit. I don't know how they're gonna do it. And you'll all sit in the classroom. The screen comes up, and the robot does its work. It, that's just where we're going, whether you like it or you don't like it. You understand what I'm saying? So pay attention to what's happening. So stay in touch with what's going on and stay in line with what is going on. Can I tell you just one fact that happened? During the pandemic, year 2018, 2019, up to 2020, what year is this? 2021. 23 billion years under the age of 25 were created. In the pandemic, while people are crying that things are hard, things are going this. You, most of you do DoorDash, right? Is that Joyce? Is that uh, Teresa knows about it? Whoever, whoever does DoorDash right here. The founders of DoorDash are under the age of 26. Under the age of 26 and they are billionaires. Made in the pandemic. So, how old are you? 18, 19, 20, however old you are. They are only five, four years. I'm not saying make a billion. No, please, don't get me wrong. All I'm saying, they, you can do it. You know what I'm saying? Just pay attention to what's going on. Bring your creative energy. Bring your creative power out. Do what it needs to take. What we didn't do, you're doing. And then my third point is, please, whatever you learn in college, learn things that you can come back and invest in us here. Look at the crowd out there, very young. Your class 2022, we have a class 2023 that's coming up next year and on. There's so many young people here, you know? What we want is for you to go in college, learn what you can, come back and teach us. We want to see you here as instructors for the younger class that is here. I can say all I want and all I can, they will not associate with me, they associate better with you. Trust me, my own daughter doesn't listen to me all the time. It's just what it is, you know? Because she's developing her mind, she has other ideas and she's learning here, and that's okay, and that's okay. 
you know. So we want when you go to college, come back here. We're here every weekend. Is that right, Auntie Julie? We're here every weekend. We're here every weekend. Okay? Come back. When you come back from college, teach us something that you have learned from there. Whatever skill it is that you can impart in this group, we welcome it. We are happy to take it because you'll be teaching the other generation below us. You know what I'm saying? What we want is in the next 15 years, the Ugandan community should be like the Jewish community. We should be that powerful. We should be good in our fields, in our industries. And when I say we, I mean you. When we came here, we didn't have that opportunity. We didn't have this, uh, Auntie Julie. Auntie Julie, did you get any graduation ceremony? Did you get something like this? No, but my mom is lovely. <laughs> we never got this opportunity. You know what I'm saying? But we are so glad. We are so happy, guys. We can give this to you. And we'll keep on giving it to all the other classes that keep coming. When we invest in you, we invest in ourselves. You know what I mean? So we don't do this so that when you grow up, you look after us. No, no, no. I'll be okay. I'm not waiting for you to look after me. I'll be okay. I'll be fine. But what I want is you. I don't want to look after you. You know what I mean? I don't want to look after my daughter when I'm up there and she, st she still needs help. No, let me invest in her now. If she needs to do something for me, fine. If she doesn't, that's fine as well. But also on my side, it should be the same thing. If I want to do something for her, fine. If I don't, fine. You know what I mean? So that's what we want from you guys and girls, okay? So when you go to school, learn whatever you can, learn new skills, learn new tactics, come back here and invest in the team. Come back here and invest in the team. And then I think the other, the class of 2021 already spoke about it. Guys, relax, okay? I want you to relax. College is just college. It is just college. When you go there, college is a collection of so many kids that have come to make new friends and gather knowledge. That's it. That's it. Okay? It's a beautiful experience. Relax. It is just college. You will be just fine. If you're not the top athlete, you're not the top singer, you're not the coolest girl, the coolest guy in college, relax. You will be just fine. Find your own space. Okay? When you finish your four years in year number three, I think, you realize that, wait a minute, it's just college. Because there'll be two more classes behind you that have graduated. You know what I mean? So you're going into college, that's okay, relax. You go in there, make new friends, build new relationships, learn all you can, and take it for what it is. Don't get too excited. There are going to be so many guys in school, so many girls in school, so many activities. That's okay, man. That's okay. If you have some things not happen to you in year number one, that's okay. You'll catch up in year number two. It's just college. You get it? When it's done, when the semester ends, trust me, she calls me and says, they want me out of here by 2 p.m. I'm like, Paris, I'm still at work. They're like, they don't care. When it's time to leave the campus, they want you to leave. Because it's just college. You know what I mean, guys? So when you go there, have a great time, enjoy your souls, build relationships that are going to count you, that are going to matter. And one of the things that I missed out when I was fairly your age, I had good friends and I still have good friends, but I didn't have friends that really impacted me. You know what I'm saying? So seek out, seek out friendships that are going to build you, that are going to make you a better beer, a better gems, a better, all of you here, Catherine, all of you that are here, okay? Seek out people that are going to lift you up. You know what I mean? Those are the people that you seek out, and I wish you guys the best, and I hope, uh, I don't hope, I know everything is going to go, like I said, enjoy your souls, but only remember one thing, it's just college. Come back, stay, 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 stay low key, learn all you can, do, do the best, come back and build in us, come back and impart in us, and come back, we wanna celebrate you. Like I said, I don't know what's the highest level of graduation or the highest honors are out there. I don't care about you being on the dean's list. That's all fine with me. But what I care for each one of you here, when you leave college, when you leave college, are you listening to me? When you leave college after year number one, I want you to be able to board a business class ticket to wherever you're going. 
if others can do it, if a 26-year-old DoorDash creator can do it in the pandemic, you're only three, five years younger than them, correct? So if you think about it, you can make it happen. If you don't, then you don't. You get it, guys? I wish you guys the best. Thank you so much. Congratulations on your achievement. Congratulations to your families and uh, your parents. And come back and teach all the other ones in Africano. Lift them up as well. And next graduation, 2023, we hope to see you here as well celebrating class 2023, OK? Thank you, thank you. That was uh, Mr. Douglas. Thank you for closing this out. So the floor is open to each and every one of you. Again, thank you to our parents. Thank you to our dear friends, guests, and of course the young people. Thank you, uh, Madame Rosette. I know you don't appear that much, but thank you for blessing the young people. We know how much you like them. Auntie Mildred, you have always supported the young crew. So if you take your time off, Auntie Mildred does not take time off easily. So if she takes her time off, she really cares. Jaja Betty, Auntie Rosette, Jaja Rosette, all our guests and our dear friends, from Florida, all the way from Florida. Yes, we also have the sun here now. So, <laughs> come back in winter. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. So, Mr. DJ, take over. That's, that has been my assistant, Mr. Ryan. And again, thanks to everyone. Africano, Aluta Continua. Thank you. Chigenda kuchusi nyadiyo Chongere chitibuwa Ofune mikuano Ensonga yemba garu wakuba wanyikira Congratulations